Have you been asked to find the current assets and merchandise inventory when you're only given the current ratio working capital and asset test ratio for a company and you're not sure how to find those numbers? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to show you exactly how to find these numbers in today's video. But first I want to say I believe something wonderful is about to happen for you today. So keep your eye out for it. And now back to the video. In this example problem, you've been given the current ratio, the working capital, and the asset test ratio for a particular company. If you're not sure how to find a current ratio, I've got a video linked up here for you on that. In this example, we know that the current ratio is 3.0. So let's look at the formulas that I have for these items. We've got current ratio, which is current assets over current liabilities. We have working capital, which is current assets minus current liabilities. And we have the acid test ratio, which is current assets minus inventory over current liabilities. These are the formulas that we're going to need, and you'll want to keep them handy. Let's copy over into here some of the information we have. So we've been given the current ratio is 3.0, so I'm going to write that here. And then we've been given that the working capital is 315,000. So I'm going to move that up and write working capital equals, as it says, 315,000. $315,000. And the last piece of information we're given is the acid test ratio. And we're told that that is. 1.2. I just copied over here so we have it handy and it'll be easier to work out these problems. So we need to figure out how do we find the current assets and the merchandise inventory when we're just given these ratios. Well, we're going to have to use these formulas that we have and put the information we do have into them and then manipulate them algebraically so that we can arrive at the current assets and the merchandise inventory. Follow along as I do that here. All right, so the first thing we're gonna work with is that current ratio. So I know that the current ratio is equal to 3.0, and we know that is equal to the current assets over current liabilities. We don't know either of these numbers. We just know what the, if we take this division problem, this fraction, this ratio, we know that the answer is 3.0. So the next step I want to do is algebraically manipulate this. I want to, I want to find out what the current assets are equal to in terms of the current ratio. So we can do that by algebraically multiplying both sides by current liabilities, since current liabilities is in the denominator. So if I multiply both sides by current liabilities, I'm going to wind up with 3.0 times current liabilities is equal to current assets. So in other words, I multiplied both sides by it because this is a denominator, so I eliminate the current liabilities in the denominator and bring it over to the other side of the equal sign. Now, I know that my current assets are 3.0 times current liabilities, but that doesn't tell me everything I need to know. So I'm going to move on to the next formula. So my next formula is working capital, which we are told is equal to 315,000 dollars 
and that is equal to current assets minus current liabilities. We know that because that's the formula up here. And if you don't know how to find current um, if you don't know how to find working capital, I have a video linked up here to help you with that. All right, so we've got this formula here, but we don't know current assets and we don't know current liabilities. However, we do know that current assets are equal to 3.0 times current liabilities. So I'm going to use substitution to fill that in. So I'm going to rewrite this as 315,000 is equal to and I had in here current liabilities, or I had current assets, right? I'm going to label that. Current assets minus current liabilities. What do I fill in for substitution? Well, I know that current assets are equal to 3.0 times current liabilities. So I'm going to write that in here, 3.0 times current liabilities. All I've done is pull out current assets and I replace it with its equivalent, which is current liabilities times 3.0. Now I've got basically an algebra problem with current liabilities here. So I've got 3.0, so three times current liabilities minus current liabilities. So if I've got three current liabilities and I subtract one current liability, that leaves me two current liabilities. is equal to, and I'll just bring this down, 315,000. So two times current liabilities is equal to 315,000. If I want to find out what current liabilities is, let's divide both sides by two, because I want to get this two out of here. That two goes away, and I have 315,000 divided by two. I'm going to pull out my handy BA2 plus calculator if you want a calculator like this. There's one linked in the description below and in the uh, right on your screen as well. So I have 315,000 divided by 2 gives me 157,500 dollars and that is equal to, since the 2 went away, that is equal to my current liabilities. So now I have found one of the pieces of the puzzle. I have found current liabilities. So let's keep that handy. Uh, I might even write it up here. $157,500. That way I have it handy. You don't have to do that part, but I just did that to keep it handy. So now I know current liabilities. Can I find current assets? Well, yes, because we know, we found earlier, that current assets is equal to three times current liabilities. That's what we found here. So all I need to do to find current assets is take current liabilities, which is 157,500, and multiply it by three to get current assets. And I already have this current liabilities on my screen, so I'm going to multiply it by 3, and that gives me $472,500. That's our current assets. See how we're go going pretty good here with this? So I'm going to write this up here so it's handy. Current assets equal... 472,500. So we're getting closer, but we still need to find some more things. All right, so we need to find out inventory is one thing. Of course, 
one of the things we needed to find here was current assets. We just found that. So I can write that in here is 472,500. So we've got that part done. The only thing left to find now is the merchandise inventory, and we're going to do that by utilizing our acid test ratio. Let's do that down here. So our acid test ratio and we know that that is equal to current assets minus inventory all over current liabilities. Okay, what information do we know? Well, we know that our acid test ratio we're given, that's 1.2. So I'm going to put that here. 1.2 is equal to, do we know our current assets? Yes, our current assets are 472,500. I'm going to subtract from that inventory, or in this case, it's called merchandise inventory. I'm just not going to write the word in merchandise. And we're dividing that by our current liabilities, which we know is the 157,500. So let's write that down here, 157,500, and that's a dollar figure. So now we can just do some algebra. I'm going to multiply both sides by the denominator. So I've got 1.2. I'm going to multiply it by 157,500. And if I do that to the other side, that gets rid of the denominator. So on this side, I have 472,500 minus inventory. So far, so good. All right. So then I just need to do this multiplication. Thank you for that thumbs up. That's really helpful to the, the channel, 157,500. And I'm going to multiply it by 1.2 is equal to 189,000 is equal to 472,500 minus inventory. I want to get inventory by itself, so I'm going to subtract 472,500 from both sides. And you may notice a problem here. Let's go ahead and do that, 472,500. So we wind up with a negative number here. But we also have on this side minus, in other words, negative inventory. Well, we can't have a negative inventory unless our, we owe stuff somewhere. So it needs to be positive. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. You can do that in algebra, right? Multiply both sides, and this becomes a positive 283,500. And this side, negative inventory times negative 1 becomes positive inventory of 283,500. So 283,500 is our amount of merchandise inventory. So now you know how to find both current assets and merchandise inventory if you're only given the ratios. So that's all I have for you in today's video. I hope you found it helpful. I'd love for you to become a member of the channel and help support it because if you have questions, you can put them in the comments and members will get quicker responses. And also I'd love for you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Make it an awesome day. Thank you.